Think of base command as a way to get into a DGX super pod without having you to, without you having to roll it in to your own premises uh, and not having to wait for let's say one of the tier one uh, CSPs who likely won't take the exact architecture of the DGX super pod. So essentially, it is a um, managed offering. Uh, right now through Equinix, and this sucker went uh, uh, went went GA. Uh, they have partners here. Uh, they have NetApp as a partner. I already talked about uh, Equinix and also Weight and Biases, who you've I guarantee you you've probably never heard of, but they're a leading provider of machine learning development tools out there for ML ops because. It's one thing just to stick a GPU in, in a server and put it out there and call it a day. But um, with base command, you have a full end-to-end uh, -end develop environment. And whether that's for NLP, autonomous vehicles, um, you can swipe a credit card. Actually, I don't know if you can actually swipe a credit card. But uh, you can go and, and get this service. And it is, it is to me, and you know, NVIDIA is not going to say this, is this is a... This is a this is an offering to keep multiple people in check on the OEM side who aren't doing uh, DGX super pods uh, and on the cloud side, the AWS, uh, the Azure and, and the GCP. Uh, this is a time to market play, but DGX is a real business. And I like that they're doing uh, as a service. And, and as you know, Daniel, uh, a lot of the traditional on-prem folks like Dell are, are also partnering with Equinix for their as-a-service uh, capabilities. Yeah, I believe GreenLake also is doing a, a service through HPE. So yeah, Equinix is uh, finding its footing in terms of taking advantage of co-location to offer private cloud at scale. Um, very interesting, of course, the whole uh, announcement, Pat, you hit it. This isn't one that probably takes a ton more effort. They did have some really good early customer wins. Uh, Adobe, for instance, is using it to accelerate their data science. And, and look, you know, cloud, all, all kinds of these advanced computing capabilities being put in the cloud just makes a lot of sense. We're seeing the way AWS and, and Azure have taken quantum and put it in the cloud, you know, simulation. You're going to see this with HBC. How do you democratize advanced compute capabilities and make them available to people on a you know subscription basis and a consumption platform and manner makes a lot of sense it's going to bring a lot more enterprises into the fray once these enterprises understand the power and capabilities they either scale up and spend a lot of money on these services through consumption or they yeah. become customers and they buy these machines and they actually take the whole service on and bring the whole thing in house either way well and what a discount too i mean it starts at ninety thousand dollars for a a, a three-month commitment that's a yeah. deal for a DGX uh, Superpod. 